G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. We are here with Futurama Season 12, Episode 9. I believe it is. Uh, what, what episode was it last week? It was... Cuteness Overlord, I believe. That's the one where all the, the Beanie Baby type deals uh, wanted to invade Earth and cuddle everyone to death. And we got into the mind of a very extreme, well, yeah, we got into the more extreme side of collecting those that obsess way too much and they neglect everything and everyone, their own families, in order to collect whatever it is they're collecting. Uh, other than that, that's I think that was everything that happened in that episode. I don't think there was anything else. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Before we get on to this week's episode, just want to read out a comment that I got from the last video. Uh, if I can find the comment somewhere. It says, from Sky Hunt, uh, who says, best episode ever. Um, well, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's sarcastic or not, but there's definitely better Futurama episodes out there. This one, it wasn't bad last episode. I don't have to give it that much. It's definitely up there, but as far as best episode ever, I, I can't agree with that one. Uh, but thank you very much for the comment. Keep them coming, guys. Let me know what you'll think about the episodes and what do you think about this season overall. We're nearly finished with this, this season. Again, I don't know if they're doing this as like a part one and then part two is coming a couple months down the line or if this is... Season 12, and then the next lot, next 10 episodes will be season 13. Not sure what they plan on doing, but let me know what you'll think about the season in general, where it stacks up to say last season, season 11. But in the meantime, this is episode 9. Let's check it out. Not the public library. Oh, hi, kids. I'm an LeVar Burton. Telegram of LeVar Burton. <laughs> I didn't see you beam in because I had my sleep mask on. Today, we're going to learn about the wonders Braille, of manga, horse based fiction, pop up audio, watching TV shows, mystery. So, throw another book on the fire and settle in for the mystery, mystery of the missing mask. A Lancy True advance Adventure. Okay. It's an anthology episode. They're always fun. That's a cute kitty. I lost my thimble. This sounds like a job for Lancy True, girl detective. The bank is going to foreclose on poor Farmer Pete's luxury office tower if he can't produce the property deed by 5 p.m. And you Not lost Pete. the deed because you were drunk? I didn't lose it. I carefully hid it along with my emergency vodka. In the old grandfather clock. Not the grandfather clock, which is gone. It's gone. Someone stole it. This sounds like a job for Lancy True, girl detective. How many times she's gonna say that? <laughs> what the hell? It's a ghost. Curveball, Andy. I mean, for a girl. I mean, tomboy. Why don't you just say I've got a great curveball? Why do you have to qualify it like that? I don't know. Because I'm insecure? <laughs> Yo, where'd the ball go? <gasps> it's gone! Someone stole it! This sounds like a job for That's Nancy three. True. And her tomboyish sidekick. <laughs> we better split up. I'll go search the old abandoned cave. Not the old abandoned cave. I'll just... That's a lot of gold. Nothing but clues from my last three cases, huh. and no sign of the clock. What the hell? Ah! How do you bend light like that? Man, Lancey's been. Go this sounds like a job for <laughs> the Smarty Boys. The Smarty Boys. All right. We'll start by searching everywhere, in every imaginable place. Sounds like a plan. But we'll need an automa car. Sleeper. Friends, need a lift in my jalopy? 
Hey, it's our portly pal, Chud. Chud. Why can't you just call me your pal, Chud? This just in. A wave of robberies has struck Outskirt Village. Police are advising local teenagers to solve the crime as quickly as possible. We'll get to it, teens. Step on it, Chubbo. I mean, if your jalopy can even go uphill with you in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. I can't go on living. I'm driving off the cliff. You're a lobster. <laughs> what happened to the cliff? Nancy's house. I must have made a wrong turn at the cliff. The clock was over here, between these Ming vases. <gasps> the vases are gone! And my gun is missing. My big you had a gun? Is gone too. Chad, did you eat Annie's mint? Yes, but not the other stuff. The criminal has only one place left to hide. Inside that clock. Let's see who the real culprit is. Lancy. <gasps> nope, another dimension. What the hell is that? Allow me to explain. It's a black hole. It's Tom Stitch, yes. the boy inventor. Why can't you just call me the inventor? It's not a boy. <laughs> this object is known as a gravitational black hole. Well, that's how you bend light. Falls in can never escape. Not even light itself. <laughs> As the heroes, Biff and I will jump in and rescue those things. Well, you don't understand. The gravitational forces will shred you like... Spaghettify. <laughs> there goes young Tom Sniff. Off on another adventure. Hmm. <laughs> Enjoy the hole! <laughs> <laughs> And yet they still somehow escaped. But not for long. Actually, no, they're there. How does that work? <laughs> how is that how you end that? <laughs> Come on, man. Le Mystery de la Manivelle Dior. What? It's, um... Tintin? Ah, something for Captain Delila. It's my, uh, oh. medicine for my ailment. The eye is so small. He's a... Character models are tripping me out. What? Bed, bath, and bazaar. Zoidy. Zoidy. Um, the golden crank of Khartoum. Yes, most powerful it is. They say it can crank anything. Presenting the Grey Warbler of Buenos Aires. Who the hell are you? Your fiancé, Professor Algebra. Algebra? Oh, for the sake of Pete, I addressed it to the wrong professor. I'm engaged to Dr. Geology now. Not Geology. Monster. Geology. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. You may stay for my concert and a light meat supper. Then, scram all of Well, that was a waste of time. Zoidy, no! You stupid lemming! You found a bone? But where? <laughs> Professor Geology, are you okay? Clearly not. Where in butt's ass is my fiancé? <sighs> I'm afraid he is dead. I'm pretty sure he could have faked his own death. Yeah. Not even that. I can prove it, smarty pants. My heavens, it's a priceless fossil dating to geologic antiquity. You're a priceless fossil dating to geologic antiquity. Burn. God, my hat must have blown onto it by chance. Mon dieu, la golden crank of Khartoum. Mais oui. I shall rewind the earth backwards in time. Then we shall see who came here to steal. Fucking it. what? That'll never work. <gasps> it's working. One hour ago. I guess it can crank anything. Ago, Twelve thirty-six. Ah, strange. No one's been here for days, weeks, millennia. 
What the fromage is that? Africa, of course. Huh? What? Must I explain everything? Yeah. Give me that globe. You see, everything was connected, yeah. Years ago, there was only a single landmass known as if someone Land fell down the hole and got like squished. You may rewind now, Fry Fry. And that's what happened. So it was him all along, huh? Right, Fry was right. He is dead. Hmm. I do believe someone stole my bike. Here's your bike back. I would... That solves the mystery of the missing bike. It's a teenage bender, huh? Arrest him, Lolly. I can't arrest him. I'm just a kid. The best I can do is punch him. Do it. Now hold on, little lady. Let me arrest him. I'm Wikipedia's father, and also the chief of police. Makes sense. Can I still punch him? If you don't, I will. It's a smooth voice. But there was one crime I just couldn't solve. Why not? Because I just didn't give a damn. <laughs> Maybe I could solve it and save the day. They opened their doors, only to observe the most shocking sight imaginable. Ape is gone? Flaming no. Bag of dog ah! Gross. I know where it came from. Neil deGrasse Tyson? May I borrow your magnifying glass? Hell no! I don't know you! I'm not lending you my magnifying glass! That's okay. I brought an electron micro... Of course he did. It's made entirely of matter. And that's the clue I needed to solve the mystery. But how did it end up so. on my doorstep? You see, approximately 13.8 billion years ago, all matter was created in the Big Bang. Yeah. So that's where it came from. What? The Big Bang. Of course! It was so obvious! Oh. I get it. Oh. Well, wait a minute. Where were you when the Big Bang happened? Me? I... He did it. Damn it, Neil. Who's a big bang guy? Get him! Gotta go! Neil deGrasse Tyson? Yeah, yeah, listen. You got a place I can hide where no one ever goes? Sure. Right over here. <laughs> Bad. Well, that's all for today, kids. And remember, in space, no one can hear you read. Well, that was an episode. Um, I really do hate these anthology type ones, man. I really do. They're not my favorites at all. Um, it was funny seeing the different types of like character designs for characters like Fry with black hair or something, or like Kid Bender. Um, the Tintin type animation for Leela really creeped me out with just a really small eye right in the middle there. Um, it's great to have Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> uh, did you get a pretty good burn there at the end? No one goes to the science section. Um, uh, that's really all I've got to say about this one, man. Um, <laughs> this was not my favorites by far. It's probably the worst episode of this season. I think every week this far, I've been, you know, this has been a fun episode. It's great. Uh, this one, not so much. I know people out there really do like the anthology episodes. I mean, that's a pretty much a given. Uh, this was a good look at, like, I don't know, like Nancy Drew, the Hardy Boys, and stuff like that. But I don't know, man. And granted, I think most of those are all, like, children's books anyway. So it kind of makes sense that, like, if you're a fan of those, like, Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew uh even Tintin or whatever it is you might enjoy this episode a bit more um but like I never read Nancy Drew or Hardy Boys or anything like that growing up so I don't really have that connection it it is what it is um I think the only thing of Nancy Drew is like that show recently how many seasons did that have two three Something like that. That was an alright show, actually. I didn't mind that. And the Hardy Boys wasn't too bad either. Um, Tintin, yeah. Never had anything to do with that. 
But yeah, let me know what you'll think. Did you actually ever read Nancy Drew or the Hardy Boys or anything like that growing up? Have you read them recently? Like, just let me know. Let me know what you thought about this episode. But that is it for this week's episode, guys. Join me next week for what I assume is the season finale. But until then, as usual, if you'll enjoy this reaction and want to see more, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, join me next time. I'll see you there. Bye, guys.